It happens here, our weekly trip to find out what's going on in the cities and towns across Massachusetts. And this week we head north of Boston to a farm that's going green. Brianna Pitts is here with more on this. Brianna. Chris and Kate, it's a local family farm harvesting more than just crops. They're also harvesting their own energy. It happens here in Amesbury. Celebrating its 350th birthday this year, it's one of the oldest towns in America. It's home to the oldest continuously operating wood boat shop in the country and was known as the four-strong carriage capital of the world. Farming is also an important part of this community's past, and one local farmer is looking to take it into the future. At Cider Hill Farm, the name says it all. Their cider donuts. On busy, busy days, we have two donut machines, and they start at 6 a.m., and they don't stop until 6 p.m. Sweet cider. And this is our gold uh, medal winner as well. And in the last few years, several varieties of award-winning hard cider. Everything we do here requires uh, a lot of electricity. That's why owner Glenn Cook and his wife Karen decided to generate their own energy. We really care about the land and the environment. Three towering wind turbines and a field of solar panels produce enough electricity to make the donuts and a lot more. Do you have a goal to be like 100% Oh, definitely. Many other farms are now following suit, but the cooks were trailblazers when they installed their first wind turbines in 2007. We run with a very light footprint, and it's, it's harvested from what's coming onto the farm naturally. So at the height of the season, Cider Hill can make up to 18,000 cider donuts in one day. We ate a bunch of them when we were there. I ate five. Our producer, Elsie, ate like four. Um, there's no difference between solar-powered made donuts and regular electricity made donuts. Swear to God, they were delicious. I mean, so great. Yeah. It's a cider donut, so it's as long as they get yeah. made. So cool. I had no idea yeah. that that was up in Amesbury. Yeah, if you're in Amesbury, you have to check it out. And it's not easy to run a farm. We all know that. But yeah. for them to take it the extra mile and to make sure that they're doing it, uh, you know, just eco-friendly and doing it on a sustainable level, you got to hand it to them.